it's finally dawning on athletes that it's not only brawn, but also brain that makes a champion. Well, in the 80s, we developed a lot of muscle training methods to increase sports performance. And, and now, in the 21st century, we're taking the brain to the weight room. Sports performance is all about the brain, but it wasn't like that all the time. For the longest part of history of sports, people didn't care about the brain. They would consider an athlete a good player if they had good muscle definition and they were very coordinated. Just within the last 10 years, we think that about 50% of all sports performance. And sometimes the most important part about elite performance is related to brain functioning. Now, athletes have caught on to how important the brain is to their performance on the field. So how does the brain improve the game? Almost all the sports is dynamic and requires millisecond to millisecond decision making. And if you miss it by a small percentage, you miss the putt. You're a tenth of a second too slow your shot falls off the rim. That's that little differentiation between super world class and good. At a basic level, it's about hand-eye coordination and practice, practice, practice. Now, of course, you need an intact body. You need physiology that works. In basketball, it helps to be tall. In racing horses, it helps to be small. But every of those athletes has a brain that has to be synchronized with their athletic activity. But beyond practice and having the right body type, the brain plays another vital role in sports. Performance anxiety is the largest culprit of poor athletic performance. And the successful athlete has complete control over that. What we found is the brain can either help you succeed in this athletic activity, or it can help you fail. The zone, it's very hard to get into. I really feel like if I can control my breath and I can get it as slow as possible, that'll, that'll slow down my heart. As soon as that happens, I feel like I get total consciousness of everything. All five senses are working the best they could possibly work. Experts think the brain gets so focused, it's somehow able to block or ignore any irrelevant input. Brain and body begin working in perfect sync. Athletes and everybody else for that matter, all want to be in that zone. And there's something special about it. Everything gets aimed at the one task at hand. And when you do that, incredible things can happen. You have a real clarity of thought and decision making. When I'm in that moment, everything around me is slow and I can control what I'm thinking, I can control what I look at, I can control what thoughts enter my mind. And in turn, that, that gives me the greatest chance for success. Being in the zone could be the brain's ultimate control over the body. The human brain, one of the last great frontiers. The brain is the most complicated device we've found in the universe. We've learned more about it in the last five years than in the last 5,000 years. In the last few years, we've come out of the Stone Age. mechanics you train for conditioning and you train for nutrition now train your mind for emotions the new met program mental and emotional training giving you the fundamental principles of nlp visualization techniques and soft skill development summoning your talents at will consistently releasing your full potential defining your athletic maturity the new met program physical performance governed by mental and emotional programming your guide to excellence